Hi guys, and um, welcome back to Temple Boy Turnings. Um, huge response from the last video, turning CDs. Absolutely fantastic response, in fact. Um, so much so that I'm going to do another one this week. Um, I've had a few questions with relation to it. Um, one was the gluing up process, which uh, I will um, do a short video to show you how to glue them up. Now when you've glued the blank up, I have a big one here, when you've glued the blank up, what I do is I look around the sides. If there is any signs of any slight gap, because these CDs do have, um, some of them have a, a little uh, dip in the, in the center, or a raised part in the center. Um, if there is a slight gap, then just fill it with CA glue. Um, this is this week's blank. Um, and what I'm going to do with it, I've sanded one side perfectly flat and the reason for that is I have some blocks of really lovely sported beach here They're just um, some blocks that I'd lying around um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this first one which is five inches long into the into the lathe and I'm going to rough it round um, square off the end and sand it and then I'm going to bring it, bring it right down to um, a small pin, about the half the thickness of my blank, to a small pin, and uh, which is the same size as the centre of the the centre of the CDs. And then I'm going to push this onto that and glue it halfway onto the block. So there'll be uh, like a dowel through the centre and then glue it. So you've got a lot of more surface of gluing. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same with the second block and I'm going to put it onto the bottom. So the whole um, CD blank will be sandwiched between the two, two blocks and also you'll have a, a nice piece of wood going up through the middle. And then I'm going to turn a goblet out of the whole blank. So wish me luck with that. Uh, the whole idea being that once I turn these CDs down and sand them, that they'll become transparent and you'll see the sported wood up through the centre, hopefully. Um, now, just looking at it, the, the hole's quite small, so I might, I might drill out the centre a bit bigger. I don't know yet. Um, You'll see as we go along. I might drill the centre out a bit bigger so we've got a bit more wood showing through the centre. But um, that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to make a um, upcycled CD and sported beach goblet. Right, let's get on with it. Over okay, to the end. So I have our first piece of wood in the uh, in between centres. Um, just so you know the size of this piece of wood. It is five inches long by four inches square. Okay, and it has got some lovely sporting. I think you can see just there some some really nice sporting in it. So um, listen, I'm going to turn this round and then come back to you when it's round because there's no point in me showing you. you you see it in every one of my videos um, on how I turn these around it's quite simple so I'll come back to you in a bit okay okay so I have my blank round and it is a beautiful piece of wood there's lovely sporting in it um, there's a crack just here where the the pith is but uh, I think I'm going to get away with it because it doesn't go right down and I'm bringing this. I've measured from there to there is roughly half of my, uh, half of my um, CD blank. Um, and I've decided I'm not going to make the hole in this any bigger. Because if I do, then it's going to be quite a thick centered goblet by the time I've turned the CDs down. So I'm going to leave it quite thin in the center. So I'm going to bring this section down to this size and then sand it all up and push and glue that blank onto this okay so let's let's reduce the size of this
Okay, perfect. So uh, what I did there was I got it as close as I could for it being tight. And then obviously because these are plastic, frictions are going to warm them up. So uh, I just brought the, uh, the peg in through the CDs um, so it's nice and tight. So I'm going to give this a sand right up to um, 1500 grit. Then I'm going to give it a finish so it's shine shining. I'm going to use a CA finish just on this peg okay um, and then uh, and then I'm going to glue the whole um, glue the CDs uh, in onto the the blank there okay I'm just going to use CA glue to stick it on because obviously it's plastic and uh, I'm not sure if wood glue will bond to it and Gorilla Glue if I use Gorilla Glue you're going to see it so I want to clear a clear glue so I'm just going to try it with CA and see how we get on so I'll sand the rest of this up and then I'll glue the blank onto it okay sand it because um, it's a nice flat finish and uh, I'm going to be putting more CA on anyway to glue the CDs in. Now these should just slide on now. Yeah, that's perfect. So good, staying together anyway. Good Lord. Stringiness.
What's happened there is shavings have bound up my uh, my tail strut and stopped it from spinning. Dookie. Well, it's a learning curve anyway. Okay, that's the same size now. I've um, I squared up this end and then uh, sanded it right down and then I stuck another CD. I um, sanded a CD flat, just took the nib from the center. I'll just show you what I mean. Um, and these CDs, there's, there's a slight nib on them. Now you wouldn't notice it until you start sticking them all together and then obviously as I was sticking them together they, the nib was there and it was pushing these CDs out and out and out and out like this so it left a bulge in the centre so I just took that bulge out and then I've stuck I sanded that nib off and that nib off both sides and stuck the CDs the, the new CD on the front so we've got a perfectly flat surface now I'll, uh, I'll sand that so it's just rough for the glue to hold on to and then uh, take it off and do the same with the other block now uh, where I round it off and put a peg on it and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll stick this onto that block okay so uh, I'll get back to you in a second when I've got the other piece of wood on okay so I've got my uh, second piece of wood uh, I've gone through the same process as we did with the first um, I've rounded it off and then I've brought it down for a peg to go up the centre and that is the same distance as what's left inside our CDs so that's going to go down inside there ok so I'm just going to uh, put some CA super glue on this and, uh, and then push it on and then bring the tail stock up again. Um, it's a nice tight fit. So uh, yeah, I'll put some super glue on and uh, we'll fit it on. And uh, time for another cup of coffee. Okay, so this is our completed blank, uh, ready to turn our goblet. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start shaping the um, the cup up this end. I want the sporting to be in the cup, and uh, and then bring in this centre down. And I'll be trying to take nice, slow, and steady cuts. Um, this is all new territory. Uh, it's a bit different from when I did the bowl because uh, this is sandwiched between the two pieces of wood. So if it does break, the only direction it can go is straight out rather than away. 
so um, we'll see how we get on. I'm going to be wearing my full face shield and I'm going to put a face mask on as well um, while I'm turning this because of the the vapor that comes off of the the super glue or CA glue. Okay, so uh, we'll crack on. Okay, so <clears throat> I have that um, three coats of sand and sealer and a couple of coats of wax on that at the moment. Um, I'm kind of happy with it. The sporting looks really nice in it. So now I'm going to uh, take off the tail stop and I'm going to hollow out the cut. This is going to be the scary part now because I don't have a steady rest. So here it goes um, there's nothing more I can do other than just jump in and give it a go okay let me explain what I'm going to do I have a set of spade bits that I'm going to use for this um, the reason why is because they are the sharpest drill bits that I have my Forstner bits are very cheap ones and they're not great and not only that, I have a whole range of them. So I'm going to go from really small and work my eight, work my way up very gradually to very big. And that way, um, I can slowly take away as much of, a, as of this as I can without using the tools to start with. Because I think once I get past the lip here, a lot of the vibration is going to stop. It's just while I've got the end here. Well, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So uh, let's crack on and do this. <laughs> 